Welcome to the first ever daily conservative pop culture show that gives you the latest pop culture news without the leftist propaganda. Today I'm bringing you spoopy Hollywood stars, a fan who refused to cuss out Donald Trump at a rap concert, and Beyonce's hollow life advice. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. We are deep in spoopy season. Over the weekend, the stars were out in Hollywood doing what they do best, pretending to be someone they're not. Let's see what they came up with. Jessica Biel, dressed as NSYNC era JT, and he went as a microphone, adorable. Cardi B was a slutty nurse, boring. Lisa Rinna went as JLo in her famous Versace dress, show stopping. Nina Dobrev went as Billie Eilish, satanic. Demi Lovato went as Marie Antoinette, missed opportunity, should have gone as poop. And Justin Trudeau went as Aladdin, ooh. I can't look. Over the weekend, rapper YG was performing at a music festival when he spotted a fan in the crowd not singing along to one of his songs that attacks the president. So he invites him on stage and tries to make him say F Donald Trump. When the kid refuses, YG shoves him off the stage. Hey listen, I spotted you out in the crowd. I asked you if you f Donald Trump, you say you don't know. So since you don't know, I need you to make up your mind tonight. I need you to uh, say your name. I want you to state your name because I know your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, your grandfather is watching. I want you to state your name and yell out Donald Trump. No, you won't. Get his out of here. Get him out of the stage. Get him out of here. He a Donald Trump supporter. Get his out of here. Imagine paying for a ticket to see one of your favorite artists and you end up getting humiliated and kicked out for not cursing the president of the United States. What is incredible is this kid had the balls to stand up for our president knowing full well the hate and vitriol he was gonna get from that crowd. Uh, you, you got, you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro. I think he deserves a McDonald's lunch at the White House. Many, many french fries. What do you think would happen if someone like, say, Luke Bryan invited a fan on stage and asked them to yell F Obama? Lordy, that would be really bad. Congrats to YG, though. Besides his one iHeartRadio award, he now has a viral moment to add to his resume, all thanks to Donald Trump. You're welcome. We'll take actually woke Kanye over fake woke YG all day. Everybody think they so woke, but they following the rules of what woke's supposed to be. And Kesha did an interview where she said the best life advice that she's ever gotten was from Beyonce. Beyonce told her, as soon as you know they're snakes, weed them out. Just wondering, how good can someone's advice really be if they don't take it themselves? I'm a clown. <laughs> I'll see you right here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll discuss Ben Affleck's crusty personality and why he may be the least eligible bachelor in Hollywood. It's pop culture without the propaganda. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Don't forget to subscribe to Turning Point USA's YouTube channel and ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss an episode.